This video is titled The Top 7 Reasons You Should Read My Free Cannabis of Exodus How Believers Receive a New Heart Booklet. These are the top seven reasons why you should read it. I mean, it's it's mostly pictures. <laughs> so, uh, it, it it's an easy uh, it's an easy read. And why you want to read it is uh, foundationally is the world seems like a complete uh, Rubik's cube of confusion where it's uh, impacted like a, a you know like a tooth where somebody's growing so many teeth, they, their mouth isn't big enough, right? So you get a, a an impacted tooth, right? So that's why they get pull your wisdom teeth, right? So it seems like the situation that we're in right now is uh, impossible to uh, extract ourselves from. Well, that is what Yah is doing is showing you that you're in captivity because you're under man's law. And because you're under man's law, Yahweh himself becomes the strong delusion, which through our own lusts, we get deeper and deeper into this thing called Babylon. Through it, Babylon knows how to tempt us and, and, and put the, you know, the football and the sports, the professional sports and the cars and all the shiny stuff and the food that tastes uh, supernatural, like everything, this is a false reality, like a matrix. So Babylon knows how to deceive us. And the number one way, reason why you should read this book is hopefully it might get you over your own uh, uh, Babylonian programming that cannabis is evil in the first place. That's number one, because this is a, an essential step in order for Christian Israel to beat Babylon, is to go through this baptism by fire. It's a process where in which we are either consumed by the fire or we are uh, uh, purified by the fire. And the purification process is uh, painful. And we have to go through this. And Cannabis of Exodus is a tool in which we take our heart of stone. We got to get rid of this hard heart that keeps us stiff necked. That we, oh no, man can make law. <laughs> oh, man can make law. The U.S. Constitution is the supreme law of the land. I'm an oath keeper. All of that is Babylonian programming it, through idolatry of the Constitution, the idolatry of nationalism itself, that you're a U.S. citizen and beating your chest in USA and all of that Babylonian confusion. You've got to get your tribal identity. In order to get your tribal identity, you need the cannabis of Exodus so that we can all smoke the peace pipe and recognize that we are one and we will not be divided and conquered. Indeed, we shall be uh, the future kings and priests of this land. We are going to take responsibility and stop being like crying, whining children. Ura. We are commanded to be overcomers. Ura. We will improvise, we will adapt, we will overcome any adversary that wants to infant, infanticide our children. We are, we are being warred upon right now to the tunes of a, a Holocaust level uh, genocide every single year of Israelites. Every single year. Because Esau is impersonating Jacob, and most people don't even understand what I'm talking about. You know why? Because you're not using the cannabis of Exodus. We're in a game of three-dimensional chess, and the only way you can see the different players on this, this board where you're attacked from all different sides is to lose your idolatry. You have to get out of idolatry because when you're sucked into idolatry of the United States Marines or the Constitution or the flag and the anthem and all of those devices to trigger you with idolatry through post-traumatic stress disorder, 
Yah wants you to see through all of this nonsense, just like Neo in the Matrix, where you're just seeing their, their false flags. You're seeing their triggering tools. You see those, uh, how they culturally appropriate uh, nations. They have culturally appropriated the Israelite people. The Israelite people are the first nations of the world. That's who the Israelite people are. All different aboriginals. Dark-skinned. Europeans. White-skinned. All of us are First Nation at some point going back. And at some point, none of us paid to live on this land. When we all understood the truth that this land is Yah's land. It's not the United States government. It's not Wayne Walton's. It's not, uh, you know, Yah looks down and he goes, they think it's theirs. <laughs> think of the vanity of that. Oh, because they called it the United States government, now these guys own it. That means man's owning it, whether that's the Vatican or the synagogue of Satan Jews or Esau, whatever whatever the earthly power through communism, capitalism, fascism, or uh, a constitutional republic, whatever system that exists under man's law will have man as the owner of that system. Therefore, you'll automatically be paying the man <laughs> to have the land when Yah wants to give it to us for free as our inheritance. And if your revolutionary group isn't talking about this stuff, they're not revolutionary. They are inside job like uh, Alex Jones, like Noam Chomsky, like guys on the left, the Webster Tarpley, because all of them think that man can make law. And if you don't understand that deception, you're being triggered because they programmed you to think that man created it or a big bang, you know, At whatever level of nonsense in order to deceive the tribes, the first nation people through science and wizardry and through uh, sorcery and pharmacia. They have enslaved our minds to, to believe a lie. The God of this Bible owns the land, and he wants to give it to you free as a land inheritance, which is good news to every soul on this planet, because there'll be no scarcity, that indeed he promises that no one will ever be made afraid. And we already got a soundtrack for this revolution in the, the form of reggae. All right. That was just number one. <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah, put his words on my lips, so I had to go with it. This is what I, my rational brain wrote up in advance in my notes, which was yeah, telling me how to do it. But I want to give you it in, in like a structured form now. So that was just Yahweh rele, uh, revelating. Yah wants to be with his bride. He wants his prodigal son to return home and stop messing around with Uncle Sam, Pharaoh, Caesar, and Rothschild. <coughs> All right. Uh, reason number one. Uh, Cannabis of Exodus book proves Strong's 77 from, you know, Strong's Concordance. That's a biblical reference manual. It's like the uh, encyclopedia reference of every word and what it means in Hebrew, for instance, for example. Well, uh, it's Kenna bosom and it actually shows that uh you know it, there, there's uh biblical evidence that the shape of the menorah is a menorah uh, that's a memorial for the burning bush itself which is a copy of the seven branched cannabis leaf strong 77 check it out number two our own anointing when we get over this uh fear of cannabis when in, in fact it's a performance enhancer is that it uh, Yahweh reveals himself to you and like, oh, wow, everything that I read about, secondhand evidence, everything I read about 
when you have direct revelation with Yahweh, you're meeting God. It's terrifying initially because you see how wicked that it, it he 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 sees every single thing that we have done he already knows what we're going to do he's the all powerful yah who created the heavens and the earth he knows how this story ends and he puts his wisdom onto our lips of the prophets all of us who surrender to his anointing he will equip us and and and, and give us the spiritual gifts so that we can fulfill our true purpose in this life, which has deliberately been dis uh, erased from the zeitgeist of the society. They've deliberately erased our First Nation uh, oath to ourselves and to one another. This is the way we love one another. Through his, his commandments and his statutes, where we create justice in a society with a government of uh, tens, fifties, hundreds, and a thousand. We take responsibility. And since we are stoners, we're, we're fun-loving, we're happy, we're not looking for retribution, but we don't want all this con uh, 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 hate being spread, you know? When you go to a reggae concert, you see black, white people of all colors and all races on the same stage creating and making music together in order to show the world a way forward where there isn't all this division and hate and suspicion and conflict. Meanwhile, they're pronomian and they obey the law. And because they obey the law, the, uh, the cultural... Uh, the Reds, you know, the leftists who are trying to rewrite this culture into, a, you know, a multicultural uh, Babylonian confusion mess where there is no morality. Uh, reggae artists often cannot get into some of these concerts that the, the hippie fest have because uh, they are they they call it uh, they warn people in their songs. They talk about the the body boy system. The body boy system is those who deliberately finance and promote into the culture, the tribal culture, this foreign element of uh, sodomy, the, glor the glorification of sodomy, the, you know, the perpetual victimhood of the sodomites, right? So they promote that, and uh, uh, but the, the left does, and because of that, reggae artists are often uh, prohibited from um, going to these uh, events. So anyway, to find out your true purpose, uh, number three, through the anointing, Yahweh will equip you to be able to, to see and play this three-dimensional chess game, which is being perpetrated uh, against us in the real world. It's a real-world reality show that we're all living out Yahweh's watching and one day we're going to come face to face with the person that we could have been had we not been so cowardly had we not been so domesticated had we not been so uh distracted and apathetic and uh excuse making uh but you know primary the primary reason that we are being so cowardly is because of idolatry. And when the, the indwelling Holy Spirit comes into your soul, he's going to equip you with the courage to do the things that most people uh, won't even recognize is the reality of this war which is going on right now. Okay, number four, uh, part of the burning bush revelation is that you're born again to change teams against Babylon. So this uh, enables you to be born again with water for repentance and in the spirit of the uh, the baptism by fire, you change teams like Neo uh, after he he started fighting the Matrix. That's what will happen to you uh, through the anointing, uh, and through that process, you can visualize the kingdom. Now you can see the the goal, like you like Brett Brett Jones, for instance. He makes a lot of art. And because he has an anointing, he is a prophet, he is able to draw what the kingdom looks like. He's able to show people and give visual evidence, just like 
these bad guys out of Hollywood and Madison Avenue and, and Disney, they show the tragic kingdom where everything gets progressively amoral. It becomes the, uh, you know, it, it glorifies stupidity. It glorifies greed and the most uh, base desires. It rewards and finances that. So through the anointing, you'll be able to see the kingdom and the quality alternative to uh, this Babylonian nonsense. Number five, <clears throat> uh, when you have direct revelation with Yah, you have you can see that all of the fear being promoted by Babylon, it's just, uh, it's like, it's all bluster. It's all, uh, it's a paper tiger. Because now you are uh, in the same, you see with the same spiritual eyes as David when he fought Goliath, he's just, yeah, I know it looks really big and I know these guys are afraid, but I'm not afraid because I fear Yah. And if I fear Yah, he's going to empower me to kick Goliath's butt. And that's what he's doing with us. No fear of Babylon is number five. Number six, uh, your, your children's and your loved ones are dependent upon you waking up and becoming the person that you were meant to be, a prophet who has direct revelation with Yahweh and uh, is able to shepherd his people in his local community to safety. Through the narrow gate, uh, prepare for Exodus. We are to regather the tribes. It's go time right now. We're being warred upon. There's urgency. Your children's lives and your loved ones and your own self-respect uh, uh, will all be sacrificed if you go cowardly in this time of harvest. You won't. You won't make. You be a coward. Uh, cowards don't bear the fruit. Let me. Let me start there. <coughs> if you're afraid of Babylon, you're not bearing fruit. You ain't making the cut because you're not willing to surrender your idolatry and your own self sovereignty and your idolatry to these nations and realize that only Yah makes law, only Yah is Savior. Number seven, the top reason, meet Yah. Meet Him where He encourages you. Meet Him where He uh, purposes you, where He chastens you. He disciples you in the same way I try to disciple my two-year-old, to show Him and to grow Him and to germinate him as my seedling representative for uh, our, our tribes going into the future where we set a future based upon the rock, the foundation, which is sure, so that we have a tribe that is protected from the psychopathic maniacs out of the synagogue of Satan, out of Esau, so that we stand up and represent our king, we glorify our king, the line of the tribe of Judah. And the way we do that is living boldly and strongly. And uh, do read my book, uh, Cannabis of Exodus. It's it's 30 pages and half of its pictures. Like I it couldn't, I'm, 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 I try to make it direct and to the point. Uh, how is incense used? Who used incense to, to meet Yahweh, right? Because just as an example, uh, um, through the anointing, there is an anointing with the cannabis of Exodus and holy anointing oil from Exodus thirty twenty three, and immediately <coughs> uh, Saul of the Old Testament, <clears throat> he immediately received the spirit of the Lord. He immediately received a new heart. He immediately became a new man and was born again in the spirit. <laughs> All right. He was born in the spirit. He was a Christian. He became a Christian because he was anointed. There's Christians in the Old Testament. The book is about the same people all the way through and the same God. All right. So Cannabis of Exodus helps dissolve all of that false foundation that they made about, you know, the Old Testament's about one people and the New Testament's about another group of people. That's that's a deception in order to divide and conquer the people. We need all 12 tribes of the uh, of of Israel, which is the house of Judah, the house of Benjamin, et cetera, et cetera, the 10 northern tribes, uh, Ephraim. Uh, this is the Ephraim awakening. We are fulfilling prophecy right now. In fact, the Cannabis of Exodus book, 
the giving of a new heart is the fulfillment of about three, four prophecies. Because right now Israel's been stiff-necked. She doesn't want to admit that she's whoring with Caesar and Pharaoh and Uncle Sam and Rothschild. She doesn't want to admit it. That's what the problem is, is right now, is right now she's not allowing, or she's just beginning to allow her heart to be pierced. <coughs> When I, you know, I'm going to personify Israel, all 12 tribes. So there's some that are the Jews that, you know, they think they're all part of this other thing and they're a lead and, and they got this, you know. The problem is, is they don't realize that they're in bed with Esau. You know, there's some of them that legitimately think that they're Jacob and they're willing to obey the, the laws of the Bible. But most of them <coughs> think that man can make law. And because that of that they are in captivity that's hard to imagine the people that are in the Rothschild state of Israel those Jews they are in captivity just like everybody else is in captivity however their leadership is at the top of the pyramid because you know they are Esau and they uh, you know it's effectively it's effectively a scar from the Lion King use that as a rough allegory to understand the what's going wrong the the earth is turning dark and uh you know you have a, a race between trump and hillary clinton i mean can you think of two more wicked people to find <laughs> Come on. you you it costs a billion dollars to find the the two most wicked people on earth and then i mean don't you see how we're getting played we are getting punked so bad man and the reason we're getting punked is because Yahweh is creating the strong delusion, which is punking us. <laughs> See, he controls evil and the good. <coughs> He's written out this whole story, all of the whole story from, you know, what kind of, what kind of God am I proclaiming the end from the beginning? This Bible is coming alive before our eyes, and you're going to miss the majority of it if you're not using the cannabis of exodus because the writers of the bible were using the cannabis of exodus that's what it means to when they say the uh the inspired word of god <laughs> inspired word of this right now is the inspired word of god that is israel get on your feet and there's a fulfillment of prophecy of uh, a, a paralyzed woman on the Sabbath. She, she was uh, paralyzed since birth, I, I understand, <clears throat> or a long time. <clears throat> That's what Israel is right now, the 12 tribes, the bride of the prince. She's whoring, she's idolatrous, she's, she's, she's uh, stiff-necked, she won't even admit what she's doing, she won't allow her heart to be pierced. But just like at Pentecost in the book of Acts, when 3,000 Jews had their hearts pierced because of the altar incense, they were, they were partying at the all hour, <coughs> at the incense hour, just like Zacharias in uh, Luke 1, 8 through 12, when he met the angel Gabriel at the altar of incense, and it witnesses incense three times just to go, hey, I'm trying to tell you something. Incense, incense, incense. Check it out. <laughs> you want to have a burning bush moment? This is how you do it. I mean, it's uh, it defies simplicity because of our own stiff neckedness and our, our own Babylonian programming. And I am myself am the greatest example of that because I used to be entirely on the other side of this issue. Coming from a, a military family, during, growing up during the Ronald Reagan say no to drugs era. What we used to affiliate drugs with why we lost the Vietnam War. And it was like, you know what I mean? It was like, we lost. Like, so it's, you know, in that idolatrous realm, you just lost the fight. Imagine whoever your team is, the, the Patriots, they lost the game. So next week, they come back a little more focused, right? <clears throat> well, that's what the Ronald Reagan years were. That, uh, we got to 
that marijuana, right? Well, here's the thing is marijuana is actually the tool to see the way they're playing you, how we're getting punked into being cannon fodder on behalf of these psychopathic <coughs> Edomite Shylocks, right? <clears throat> so those are the seven reasons. Uh, again, uh, to, uh, a biblical proof, strong 77. The anointing, your purpose. Uh, uh, be like David and defeat Goliath. Uh, number three is play three-dimensional chess. Number four, see the kingdom. Number five, have no fear of Babylon and all their bank puppet theater and nonsense. Number six, for, do it for your kids. Number seven, meet the Most High, the all-powerful Yah of hosts, our Creator, the one who is revealing the the day-to-day the -day events of how we are following deeper and deeper into Sodom and Gomorrah, as it's promised for our rebellion. It is a promise that we will have curses and captivity and the mark which all of these things are going on right now. And if, if, if you don't have the anointing, uh, the baptism by fire, the laying on of hands, the altar incense, you uh, it's the number one thing you need to do to equip your temple, your holy place. Your holy place must have the tabernacle is to be has a perpetual incense throughout the generations as it says in Exodus 30. This is our temple. We uh, collectively are the temple, the tabernacle of the living Yahweh, the indwelling spirit. And within that tabernacle, there was all altar incense and holy anointing oil to anoint and chrism the priests and the kings to do the king's purpose as the hands and the feet and the voices of Yahweh in this time of decadence, this time of turmoil, this time of darkness, this time of conflict. Yahweh's people come in to heal it as his weapon of war to put down the rebellion, our own individual re rebellion, our families rebellion, our tribes rebellion, and accept our covering to use our cannabinoid system to reestablish the holy internet, which Bob Marley used in order to create the, the most prophetic uh, <coughs> Christian anointed, Christian anointed Israelite pronomian, victorious, overcoming, loving, compassionate, joyful, powerful, uniting, Holy Spirit-filled music that has ever been created in order to give his people the soundtrack to the Exodus. Oorah! Songs that we can sing our, our way through Exodus, just like you're in boot camp and they give you cadence to get through your drudgery, to get through your uh, fearful periods of time, to uh, give you the spirit decor, to put the, the spirit within our men and our women to equip them in a defensive posture that... <coughs> We are like the Moses-led Israelites of 3,500 years ago that were in captivity, but they knew, they knew what time it was. They knew it's time to paint the door red. They knew it's time to pick a team. <coughs> they knew that they needed to become independent entirely of Pharaoh. <clears throat> Now is that time to equip our people and teach our people so that all of us have this understanding. And you, all of you, need to read this book and have this foundational understanding or debate me, right? If you want to shoot arrows and say, ah, oh, Wayne's just a stoner, lazy guy, 
All right. Come come to School of the Prophets boot camp and see how lazy Jim Callahan and I are. <laughs> you can come check it out. <laughs> Pack a lunch, buddy. Right? And that's the thing. The Spirit of Yahweh gives us the power and the energy and the uh, uh, the vision. He gives us the vision for victory, the vision of overcomers, the faith. He wants to give us spiritual gifts of faith that although you can't see this kingdom, this tiny little mustard seed, we, brothers and sisters, are going to live in it because the king promised us it would be so, that the last would be first, and that the, the humble and the meek shall inherit the earth. So, seven reasons. Please read my book. I appreciate it, really, and then we need to have this discussion and move forward.